Hey guys, welcome back to another Chia tutorial. Today we will be setting up a Chia harvester. A reason we might need to have a harvester is because we have just met the physical capacity of drives that are able to get plugged in and recognized by the computer, or we have certain drives in a room and we need to make more room specifically for some other items. We can set up a harvester, move those drives, and you'll still be farming at full capacity. With the way we're setting it up, we don't even need to have a hard drive that's really big because we are going to have the farmer do all the work there with the database. And let's go ahead and dive right on in. So first we have to go ahead and jump over to the farmer computer and we need two items here. We need to have the IP address of the farmer or the full node and we need to copy what we call the CA folder or certification authority. We're gonna start with that here. So we're gonna go to the file explorer, drop down to the C drive. We have to go to users, mine's troll.chia, mainnet, config, SSL. And right up here, the CA folder, we're gonna go ahead and copy that and we're gonna put it onto a flash drive here. So I'm just gonna toss it onto my phone and right there. Now that we have that, we're going to now need to get the IP address of the farmer. So we can close out of here, go to here, and then we can type in CMD or command prompt. And we're gonna be greeted with this window right here. We are now going to type in IP config. And we're gonna look here. So my wireless right there, that's going to be my IP address. Go ahead and write that down. And we're going to navigate over to the harvester we're setting up. Hey guys, now that we're over to our Chia harvester, we're gonna start by getting those keys over. So we're just gonna go to File Explorer, this PC, and then you're gonna click on your drive. So in my case, it's going to be right here under my phone. And we're gonna open up a new file explorer window as well. Hit local disk, and we're gonna go ahead and copy that over. This is gonna make it easier for when we initiate an import. Now that we have that moved over though, the next thing is we want to go ahead and get the path for the Chia application. So we can go up here in File Explorer, type in percent app data percent, and we can hit app data right here, and we'll hit local Chia blockchain app dash version you're on, resources, app data SAR, and daemon. Now that we have the daemon folder, we're gonna go ahead and cut here. And we're going to now open up CMD or command prompt. And we're going to navigate to that directory. So we're going to go to do CD for change directory. And then we can paste that. And as you see, we're now inside of the Chia application. Now for the next step, we want to go ahead and get those keys in and create the initial config. And the way we do that is we type in Chia dot exe init dash c for the copy and we're going to put the location of the ca folder like i said mine is on the root so i can just do ca like that and as you see it deleted the old one copied a new one and it generated that certificate now that the certificate is on the system we can now go ahead and turn on logs because logs are important for troubleshooting and it gives us information. So the way we can do that is chia.exe configure space and then dash log dash level. And then we do info in caps like so. And as you see, it updated that and we do need to restart, but we'll go ahead and do that later because we're gonna do the next one, which is turning off UPNP. So pretty much same thing, chia.exe, 
configure and here we have to type in dash upnp false because we want that off and as you see it's now disabled and it wants us to restart but once again we're not going to do that yet the next part is where we have to take that ip address that we copied so we're going to do here chia.exe and then we're going to do configure space dash dash set dash farmer dash peer and then we need to put in that IP address that we had you copy earlier so 192.168.0.39 for me and then we want to do the colon and then we're going to go ahead and type in the port that Chia uses so 8447 and we're going to go ahead and hit return once again it prompts us to restart but we're going to go ahead and if you have any drives plugged in already we want to go ahead and get those added so you can do here chia.exe and just for an example i'm going to do plots add dash d for directory and we're going to do the drive that's plugged in in your case you might have to do this a couple times but i'm just going to go ahead and do an example here so i'm going to add my c drive okay now that you have all of this set up you have your drives done you can go ahead and restart your harvester here and the way we do that is chia.exe start harvester and then we're gonna do dash r for restart and once this here rolls through we will have the farmer completely set up and the harvester set up to communicate with each other all right last step is to check our work if you're using cli then what we can do is we can go ahead and navigate to chia farm summary so we can go ahead and do chia farm summary and this is going to spit out everything that's connected So as you see right here, we have my farmer, we have my harvester, and down here we have the brand new land what we went ahead and set up. So everything is good to go. If you guys are using the GUI, then the way you can check if your harvester online is you would go ahead and go to the farm tab. And then you'd click show advanced options. And if you scroll down, you would see all your harvesters down here and your farmer in this case i don't actually have anything set up i just wanted to show you where it is but if you see your harvester down here then that means that you are completely set up and good to go